بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله it's summer time now and this is wedding season this is when most people they plan their weddings to take place in the summer time hoping for good weather good surroundings etc and I just wanted to remind you brothers and sisters and especially those of you who are planning your wedding you're in the process you're about to get married I just really want to impress on you the importance of keeping it and sticking and adhering to the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya Ikhwan, you're not going to be able to please everybody. You really need to understand this. So think about it. Who am I trying to impress? Who am I trying to please? Do I want to please Allah and have barakah in my wedding, in my marriage? Or do I want to try and impress the people? And regardless of how much you try and do that, you're not going to be able to impress them. There's always going to be people who are going to criticize. If people have tried to criticize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything in between, then what about us? What about us poor needy slaves? Everything that you're going to do is going to be imperfect. So strive to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many times do we come across weddings and there's free mixing and there's music and there's all sorts of other haram actions going on? My dear brother and my dear sister, know that when you get married, you will only make your marriage work from barakah and tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In and of ourselves, we don't have the ability to do anything. You can plot and you can plan, but if there is no barakah, no blessing in your marriage, then it's going to be doomed to failure. So why are we putting the wrong foot forward? How is it that we do a nikah and then we go straight away and start uh, disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is there going to be any blessing in this marriage? Of course not. Blessing comes from sticking to the sunnah. And the sunnah when it comes to getting married is keeping it simple. Let's not indulge in haram actions. If you have money, then enjoy your life. Enjoy your wedding day. However, ya ikhwan, keep it to the sunnah, keep it to the prohibitions and keep it to the levels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained. If you're planning your wedding right now, make sure there's no free mixing, make sure there's no music, make sure these other, uh, these other sort of societal norms when we practice our traditions and sometimes these traditions even involve shirk, you know, uh, let's not try and uh, please the people, let's try and stick to the authentic sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that is to keep it simple and to ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for barakah and to keep it real, not seeking to impress the people rather seeking the pleasure of the Creator. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us in our marriages, to bless all those marriages which are about to take place and to give us a tawfiq and to guide us to keep our marriages strictly to the sunnah, seeking the pleasure of Allah and not seeking the pleasure of anybody else. Ultimately, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.